Hello, my name is Ramna Begum Ansari and I'm the columnist with the print. So welcome to the print. Uh, so folk, uh, let's talk about something we can all get behind sports, the only war that should fire up the passion in the world. But you know, this is not in uh, not in the reality and the world we live in is a mess up world. So here the lowdown on a recent first that went from zero to 100 real quick. Uh, thanks to our Pakistani friends and some folk in India who bleeds green deep down uh, so picture this the world cup is in full swing and uh, on october 14 we had the mother of all matches india versus pakistan happening at the narendra modi stadium now we all know when these two giant clashes on the cricket field it's uh, more than this game it's this spectacle a showdown of epic proportion but hold on a second the drama didn't just stay on the pitch it spilled over the stand social media and probably in your living room too so uh, uh, basically what happened that uh, uh, Pakistani fan reeling from the defeat decided to focus on a uh, passionate moment when specters on the ground greeted their wicket keeper batsman Mohammad Rizwan with Jai Shri Ram slogan. Pakistani leftist and Islamist in India immediately to go, get down on the business and they started targeting the entire Gujarat reason and India the claiming that uh, this outrageous religious jibe made at the poor victim is one without basically looking into the matter and without looking into the behavior of the is one how he uh, was the first who started mixing uh, the religion with the sports oh. and praying on the cricket field is not a big deal it can be just his way to thank to the Allah but after praying the celebration of it that we have uh, prayed we have uh, prayed on a land of hindus giving that kind of message and celebrating it on national news channel says a lot it says that it's not just the prayer it's the political politicization of the religion where uh, they they are exhibiting their supremacy of the religion over the faith of others. So the problem starts from the behavior of the Pakistani dictators, and this is not nothing new. They have had history of it. Please go read my article. I have mentioned a few of them, so you can know. And some of the famous one of Shoaib Akhtar admitting that he believes in two nation theory. Shahid uh, Afridi telling that. He's looking for a Gajwai Hind. So there are so many such incidents where Pakistani cricketer has uh, been politicization, uh, politicizing the religion in uh, mixing it in the sports. Even there has been statement like Kufar Tordiya means after victory of Pakistan over India, they uh, they said that it is the uh, victory of Muslim world over the Hindu. This kind of a statement has been coming from had been coming from the Pakistani cricket team. So the same people who right now are targeting entire India based on those few uh, Indian cricket fans action were silent that time. So it says a lot about their, um, their hypocrisy. It says a lot about that how much the, their voice is a right voice of principle or a voice of opportunity. So uh, apart from that, the other um, other uh, allegation on India is that India is Islamophobic country, and the Rizwan was targeted just because of religion. It it is totally wrong when we see the next match where Afghanistan team won, and the entire India celebrated that win as like uh, it is win of ours. Like we have won. Uh, on the cricket field. So when we see the Afghanistani cricketers are also Muslims, they come from a Muslim majority country, but the reaction is not the same because we can see that Afghanistani cricketer, cricket player do not uh, exhibit the same kind of politicization of the religion uh, in the sport like a Pakistani cricketer. And how many Indian Muslim cricketers have played and for India, I do not even want to mention that because it would be an insult to the India and the Muslim community. So please go read my article and share with the other people as well. Thank you.